My name is David Stewart. I'm a senior deputy sheriff for the Floyd County Sheriff's Office. Why public service? Why the Sheriff's Department? It's a part of my heritage that really predates my family for hundreds of years. So it's a part of my opportunity to give back to the public. And my family's been a part of the Sheriff's Office for 50 plus years. Tell me a little bit about your history. What, what, what led you here? What some of the other agencies you've worked at? And how long have you been working in law enforcement? Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm going on 30 years. I started my career with the City of Atlanta Police Department in the 80s under Dr. George Knapper. And I love public service. It's a part of my family and heritage which uh, predates hundreds of years of my family. I'm the eighth person in my family to be in law enforcement. So it's just the love of my life and the opportunity to, to live my dream. What's some of the, the, the hard parts about the daily duties of law enforcement? that you might find? Oh my goodness, uh, the challenge is uh, interpublic communication, uh, personal communication with people that have such challenges that go way beyond what I've ever experienced in life. So trying to give them that glimmer of hope, in my opinion, that things will get better, can get better through our system, which sometimes we do have to lock people up to get them help. And that's the hard thing is to see their tears because we live our lives through the eyes of our victims and some of our defendants, and that's so hard. What's some of the most rewarding parts of your job? Oh, my goodness. I, I guess to see that, that glimmer of hope and that, that success in a child or a young kid or a family that actually makes it, uh, that come up to you. Like the other day in Kroger, I had a man come up I'd seen in jail for years, and he came up and cried, and he gave me a hug. And he was doing so much better. So to see somebody that is successful, that can make a difference, that can be productive in our world, uh, and can leave their criminal history behind. Tell me something about you, um, personal life, what do you do for hobbies, interests? T tell me something about you oh, as a person. Goodness. I like walking, I like hiking. Uh, I have multiple sclerosis, so I have a disability that's not uh, its not curable, but it's manageable. I've had it for 17 years, so I like um, just uh, staying in shape and, and reading my Bible, and, and, and uh, I'm a, a very devout Christian, so I, I keep my hope there. Uh, and uh, in my family, I have a granddaughter right now and two beautiful daughters. So. Working many years at the Floyd County Sheriff's Office, um, tell, me, tell the folks something about the Sheriff's Office that folks may not realize that, that, that you think they should know. Oh my goodness, that, that Sheriff's Department goes back for hundreds of years, hundreds of years, and I've been a part of it for since the late 60s when I was a junior deputy sheriff under Joe Adams. This is my seventh sheriff. Tim, Sheriff Burkhalter is my boss but my friend. Tom Caldwell is my commanding officer but my friend. I've known him for 40 years. My, gra my father trained Sheriff Burkhalter and uh, uh, it's just a great agency to work for and probably retire out under um, because uh, I've been a part of it for so many years, going on 40 years or a little over 40 years now. You mentioned you're a, a native of, of Roman Floyd County, but you left, went to Atlanta. What brought you back and what, what is it about Floyd County that you just love and say, you know what, this is, this is where I'm going to retire with my career? This is like, uh, it's bigger than Mayberry, but it's my hometown. This is where I grew up. I know the, uh, the people and the families, and I like serving the people that I know. Um, I've been a part of this community for 52 years, and um, it's just, um, I, I came to Rome from Atlanta after my career with Atlanta PD because my mom was killed by a drunk driver and a burglar. So it was my way of probably giving back and, and, and forgiveness and, and, and getting through my time of trauma that uh, led me to serve the public in Floyd County.